Welcome to Outrageously Sharon, where we talk about life, motherhood, my experiences, and a whole lot of positive vibes. Yes, yes, yes. And please don't forget to subscribe. Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you're fine. Tabulats, hope you're doing amazing and you're staying safe, guys. Uh, on set today, I have two beautiful women. Oh my God, I'm so happy to have them here. I'll be telling you shortly what we are discussing and shortly is now, okay? So we'll be talking about contraceptives. This is a conversation I had on my Instagram and I had so much info and overwhelming answers and I don't even know where to start from, guys. But guys came out saying so much about the experiences on use of contraceptives and we are here to discuss it and let gentlemen as well um, into this information because I feel like they're so clueless about this. So without going further, on my left I have Susan, mm -hmm. founder of Suki Beauty. Yes. Honey, mm. what else? Oh, yes, yes. You see that face with? Yes, that is Suki. And we have. My name is Marion Anas. Yes. So, guys, you see, we're here. We are well equipped for this conversation, yeah? So, without further ado, guys, let us jump into this conversation. Thank you so much for sparing your time to be here. So, thank you so much for joining us. And let us jump into this conversation. So, I sent you guys some of the responses that I got from people on Instagram. And I feel like men are so clueless about the use of contraceptives and what impact they have in a girl's life. And someone just sent me something on Instagram, which I think will be a very good place to start this conversation. And this is a quote, and it says, mm, just give me a second. Um, is your girlfriend crazy or is she taking a pill every day that F's up with her hormones and emotions just so you can have two extra pumps? Yeah, I will not read the rest of the part, but guys, are you thinking that your girlfriend is crazy and that she has all these moods and she's moody and you're going around telling your friends, your male friends and your female friends like, yeah. oh my God, my girlfriend is so moody. And probably she's on a pill so that you can come inside her. Guys, how do you feel about this? How do you feel about it? Like, do you feel like it is okay for men to like suggest that you should go on to a contraceptive so that they can just come inside you and feel good? Sue and I are married. Oh, we are all married, <laughs> by the way. We are all married. So, yes, yes we are speaking yes, yes, from yes, a point yes, of information. We are speaking jump in. from... Uh, Marion, so, start. what I can say is, uh, yeah. uh, for me, uh, I think family planning is a collective agreement okay. between man and woman. Because mm -hmm. uh, what men don't know is that uh, there is, uh, men have a choice of having family planning. So, uh, but <laughs> our culture, our culture somehow dictates that it's the woman's responsibility to, to have family planning. Yeah. I feel like so. I should clap 10 times for you, like, <laughs> hey, men can also get on the contraceptive. Yeah, mm. they have limited choices, yes, but nevertheless, I think uh, they should be very, very concerned about uh, their family planning choices also. Yeah. Because if as I, as a woman, can have a pill, an injection, and it gives me moods, uh, bleeding, and all these things, I think a man can also make that choice. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So I feel that way too. Um, my husband and I, yeah. we always talk stuff out and yeah. agree. You know. Yeah. We come together, talk about it, and you know. So I feel like he should also be responsible for each and every decision we make yeah. in regards to what con contraceptive we're gonna use. True. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Personally, I feel. I, I've never been on a contraceptive, guys. I have never been on a contraceptive. And this is because I have had women complain before about gaining weight and their hormones being all over mm -hmm. and, and, and having bad moods. And listen, guys, I thrive on good moods. 
So <laughs> I'm not about to take something that's yeah. gonna be making me feel bad. Like my period is already enough. Like mm. I'm moody enough during my period days. Mm. So I feel like and I have a partner that is very, very understanding of mm. that as well. Mm -hmm. He was like, yo, you don't have to. Yeah, you don't. You, you, you don't have to get on the pill. You don't have to do this contraceptive thing. And guys, me, that works for me. I don't know what you guys are on. So you guys can yeah, tell guys. For me, mm -hmm. uh, we talked about it. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I remember joking and asking him, babe, would you have a vasectomy? Uh -huh. And then he just <laughs> Mindset and then he told never. me, mm. no, he told For me what? he'll think about it maybe in the future when he's like 50, mm. above 45. Then I was like, why not now? Now, yeah. Because yeah. according to him, he thinks if he has a vasectomy, it will interfere with, I mean, <laughs> his male <Yes>. organs. Yeah. <laughs> For so sure. anyway, I, I took a, I had to take a contraceptive method because okay. I don't trust my body. Okay. Oh. Because uh, before before birth, I never used any contraceptive method. Yeah. Mm. But after birth, I didn't trust my body. Yeah. Plus, I did not want to get pregnant again. Yeah, because it's so easy. Nightmare. Actually, it's, it's so nightmare. easy to get Speaking pregnant after birth. After birth. Yes, like, I had you can that get, care. You can get pregnant like two months literally after giving birth, guys. Yeah. It's, it's, it's that crazy. It's that crazy. So, vasectomy or no vasectomy? I think no vasectomy. Honey, <laughs> No. Okay. If you can control it, why have the vasectomy? I think I've had this conversation with uh, my husband as well. He was like, what? That's, that's what? No. no. Mm -hmm. And for me, I, I, I take it from a point of defense. Because mm -hmm. I feel like me and you are already together. Like, yeah. this is for life. So I don't get why you're going to have a problem having a vasectomy. Like, do you want to sire other babies out there? Vindu. Yeah. Vindu. 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 <laughs> Vindu. <laughs> Vindu. <laughs> no, I really know. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't, but Vindu. anyway. Vindu. I know, yeah, cause because you might decide to have a baby yes. later. Yeah, yes. true. But man, that's a lot of work. I don't know. But, yeah, so. I don't know. I think we'll have a conversation with gentlemen on yeah. their thoughts on vasectomy. I think yeah. that was cool. Because yeah. I didn't think about it, but I think we can engage our male audience on that and yeah. hear what they have mm -hmm. to say. Yeah. So uh, we'll be going through some of the comments um, that people told us that they go through when they are actually on... Um, on the contraceptive mm -hmm. so i'll start um there's someone who said they had excessive bleeding mm -hmm. and then um someone told us i um, they used an implant for two years it messed their hormones and their mm -hmm. libido mm -hmm. and they had to remove it they're now team safe days Mimi okay. oh. <laughs> i'll come in with uh with the libido thingy there's yeah. a time i used um the everyday pill the one a day pill. How yeah, do you call it? It's Which thirty. One? It has thirty. The progesterone pills, only pills. It is. Yes, yeah. Yes. It's called only pills. Progesterone oh. only pills. Oh. They only have one hormone. Yeah. Mm. Uh, in the pills. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I felt like ah. Uh, my man is really suffering. He, you didn't you want know, him to withdrawal. touch you. Oh, I felt Andre. like him withdrawing oh, oh, was is not him. enough satisfaction. You get gentlemen. <laughs> so gentlemen, yes, like we need to get nyonga. that. <laughs> nyonga. The men who don't nyonga. See what you want nyonga. Okay, we will have that conversation. <laughs> so. So you're the one who felt like he wasn't getting the pleasure he wanted. Yeah, so okay. I decided to check the the In only the pills, pills, the yeah. progesterone only, only pills. pills. Yes, and day one was fine, day two, day five, six, uko. I started feeling, you know, he touches me, I'm like, don't, don't even dare. Because I had no feelings. Yeah. I had, my libido Sexual was Sexual desire was zero. zero. Like, I felt nothing. Oh totally my God. Nothing. So I can totally relate with to the lady the who says the libido, libido went down. down. And you know what? I stopped immediately. Immediately. Because you're like, immediate effect. your pleasure. And you, know, you, know, do you know how long it took for your body to, to get back? To gain back the, you know, the libido, libido and all that? No. A month. So Guys. it's not a joke. Not a joke. Because it does happen. Because yeah. with those uh, progesterone only pills and any other, uh, any other, 
that has that progesterone, it does yeah. happen. Mm -hmm. No libido because okay. it's only one hormone that's in the body. So yeah. there's an imbalance. Yeah. And remember the woman's body has mm -hmm. several uh, hormones. hormones. Estrogen, progesterone. Mm -hmm. So you only take one hormone. Up. Oh. So you have an excess of so one, an excess and of less one, of and a less of another. Oh. So your body is bound to react. Oh. So once your body starts reacting, you start feeling. Some people get uh, low libido because yeah. currently I'm using uh, the three month injection, which okay. has the same uh, whatever you are using, the okay. same hormone. But I haven't experienced low libido. Low libido, yes, yes. We shall be Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. So I guess uh, different people react. Different people, but different I always say yeah. if if you get low libido, it's not worth worth it just yeah. get off the method because yeah. your marriage will be in dreams mm -hmm. your life will be in dreams mm -hmm. like it's not worth it see yeah. why we brought a professional yeah, here honey because yeah. you needed that piece of advice uh -huh. um someone said um they just got off it um and they don't want uh they just got on it because they don't want any more kids and they're suffering from mood swings Oh my god, my god. I find mood and swings you to be know, so much. And so you much. can't control. You can control when it. When the emotions come in, yeah. you can't you become do anything someone else. about it. True, you can't control it because normally a woman's body uh without having uh any contraceptive method, yeah. it has hormones. Yeah. yeah. But if the hormones uh they are time they're up, down. Yeah. So that you have hormones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean yeah. I mean mood swings. So, so when you, you can add mm. more oh, and cause an imbalance, you get mood swings from here. I can relate to, 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 I can relate, to. <laughs> I can relate to mood swings. Yeah. Um, yeah. You remember? Oh, you all know I gave birth in um, February last year. Yeah. So after like six months, when my periods came back, yeah. during just before my periods, mood swings. swings. Yeah. I never thought about it until three months later. Then yeah. I can realize every time my period. Are, come, you're, yeah. you're having a mood. I'm having this, a mood. You know, I'm you're fighting mood, with yeah. everyone. I'm, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm so bitter. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's really, really. I even told my husband, husband about yeah. it. Me, come Anytime when my periods in Anza Kukuja, just bear that with if me. I'm nasty or um, you know, mm -mm, bear, mean, with just me. bear with me, bear with me, because it understand. comes in bad, and you know, but, yeah. you cannot control it. Yeah, some people don't even know that yeah. facing the mood, swings. the mood swings. That's I, the worst bit when you don't know you're going through the mood swings. For sure, I, I think mine came immediately after I gave birth because again, they usually say if you push a baby, mm -hmm. this like your system yeah. really realizes you've given birth, birth yeah. Yeah. but if you give birth through CS your body still hasn't realized that you've given birth yeah. it takes some time, time. to and time. I remember my hormones came in I was in it I was in such a bad mood literally one day I sent everyone out my wardrobe like including my husband I was like I don't want anyone here right now. Mm -hmm. I want you all out right now. And I honestly didn't care about how they felt because yeah. I was in a really, really bad mood yeah. and I wasn't, I, I, I couldn't breastfeed. Mm. And I think there was that pressure as well. This is a story we'll give you guys. I think yeah. I can have the another ladies day. another day. Yeah. Because um, it's the same. I think it's the experience. same also, yeah. shortly for me, because mm. my moods checked in uh, two weeks postpartum. Yeah. I was so angry. I was so tired. I was I was just over it. I chased everyone away. I was like, "Don't visit me. Don't, don't talk. Come. To, talk to me. Don't give me advice." Yeah. Ooh. So I even wrote on Instagram. Oh, don't the ask advices. me unless I ask you. Oh my yeah. goodness, the advices. Yeah. We should surely I'm have thinking. a mother. Another yeah. session. Another, another, yeah, another session. motherhood session. Yeah. As uh, someone says, I got huge, uh, up to one ten kgs from seventy two kgs. <gasps> wow. Yeah. That's a lot. That's a I lot. I feel like for women, that's like double. Yeah, it's double. Oh my god. That yeah, almost word. double. And I think men don't understand this. So this is this is just some of the complaints we got. Unapata, they start telling. Oh and you know, with nona, the nona, weight, nona, 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 n
or the, to the your significant extent, other to the extent you, you wait yeah. una, una jo, you you just become something else something for, else. Somebody, for else. somebody else yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah um, i don't have to say sorry yes. and you know for the weight gain now like for her once you gain weight again yeah. you are restricted again you yeah. there are some contraceptives you can't use so imagine you've gained you've used a contraceptive you've gained weight mm-hmm. and now you are going back to tell them i want to change this contraceptive to another and then they are telling you you cannot because you have to reduce the weight first so it's really stressing guys that's a very, professional very point i didn't stressing. know that i cannot get on another some, contraceptive some contraceptive yeah mm-hmm. until I, I a certain weights. weight gain the one one really worried me um there's someone who said they were not able to get pregnant after getting on the pill on the pill which happens actually it does what would you mm-hmm. say like earlier I, I said earlier yeah. about the progesterone uh, yeah. hormone yeah once you use it for long that is the pills uh the implants yeah and the injection yeah over some time you will not be able to get pregnant easily not all women some yeah. mm-hmm. when you want to conceive okay because i mean mm-hmm. uh there's an Im- hormonal imbalance in the body yeah <sighs> so before you resume back fertility it takes mm-hmm. a long time for some it can even take up to five years <gasps> or more i'm about to cry i feel like that, more. that would so place... those are one of the things you're told before you take that method yeah. so it's a choice you make wow. and sometimes i feel like women have no choice anyway yeah because they have to get, <laughs> they on, they have one to get on one anyway the other person, person. Mm-hmm. Oh depending depending <laughs> love starts from yourself, yourself. Mm-hmm. someone said not getting my period for a year she legit thought she was yeah. barren never again but what i should say is uh, that yeah. uh, i'd like to correct her on okay. something yeah. yeah it does happen not getting your period for not even for an, an year even two three years when you're on some uh methods <sighs> again the progesterone only Uh, pills the injection yeah. so but barren someone should not uh, equal not getting periods to barrenness especially okay. if you're using a contraceptive and okay. yeah also okay. you mm. can't blame yeah. being barren yeah. on a contraceptive, on a contraceptive. Yes, because i can totally relate again mm. okay honey um when uh, i decided to get pregnant yeah. it didn't take me one month okay. it didn't take me two months yeah three months Okay. Four months it took me a whole five months yeah. and mind you i wasn't in no, no, all in any family yeah, yeah. so uh-huh. uh there's some people who are worried they have to see their monthly period yeah. the method i'm using my period school I, i i cannot see my periods okay. but i'm aware i know i have the knowledge also oh, there yeah. are people who don't yeah. see their period periods well. and then that th- those who What? see them in excess yeah yeah I tell you the things we go through. Mm. What is um I've, I've had um people talk about their IUD moving position. Mm. And mm. and I I know someone who there's literally got that stuck. So scary. Got stuck. Yes. They're some stuck where their coil got stuck. Uko ndani. Stuck. So they yeah. had to go it through moved position. Oh, moved position. Moved position and they couldn't Take it out. Yeah, you can't even do some sexual no, positions. No, it depends on who inserts it. Cause mm. there's a technique in which you insert the IUD. Okay. So if it's well inserted yeah. in the correct position mm. and the strings are not hanging outside, yeah. I mean, <laughs> there's no reason for 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 you to get worried. The problem is people go get it inserted, mm. they forget about it, they don't mm. go uh, for checkup. Oh, yeah. you're supposed to you're do supposed a follow-up oh, check three months check-up. six months then mm. yearly oh. wow so you don't go for a checkup you don't know the position cause there's a possibility even if it's well inserted sometimes it could it move. move it mm. could move and then when you have the iud sometimes the people who get uh very serious uh cramps yeah mm. and monthly periods mm-hmm. so it expels someone the, said the infections yeah. as well Ooh. yeah i get to that it expels the iud or and it moves it so oh. I mean if you don't go for checkup how will you know what happens if you get an infection and you have the IUD? you have to have it removed okay. or or if in some get an infection, if it's a serious yeah. infection you have to have it removed treat the infection but okay. in some cases you treat the infection while the IUD is inside but more okay. often than not it's usually removed you treat the infection if the infection is recurrent you okay. treated it this month next month Man. three months later you are still t- treating the same infection is oh it my is goodness. it a hormonal mm. issue that causes the infection or i don't know because someone said that anytime they were on the contraceptive they suffered the IUD. infections yeah 
I mean, uh, there are two types of IUDs. Okay. The nanomono and the hormonal. Oh, no. More often than not, people go for the IUD, the, the nanomono one. Yeah. Because mm. by the time you're going for an IUD, I mm. mean, most people just go for the nanomono one because they don't want to deal with hormones. Yes. Mm. So, I mean, with IUD, you are bound to get infections. Uh, it's one thing you are told. You are bound to get infections. Oh. So you are given advice on what to do. Wow. But if the infections actually do come, they are treated. But if you, they are treated after three months, six months, you just get it out. You get it. And you don't use that method again. Again, okay. Yeah, but it's very few people who complain uh, of, infections of infections in the IUD as compared IUD. to other people. Okay. okay. Yeah. One question before you move Please, on. go ahead. Yeah. Um, with the IUD, yeah. are you limited to sexual positions? positions? No. No, because <laughs> I've, I've had someone say yeah. before the that coin was was dungaing their, <laughs> no, their, their man. I mean, like, but, yeah, but, yeah, so, yeah, 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 for real, yeah, yeah. yeah. The for planning, for real. Like it's he dungas that also. man. Like when he's entering, men have complained. Like, ding, it is poking. They, they are both meeting, and that's <laughs> Men have complained because uh, remember in 2017, mm -hmm. I worked in the family planning clinic for around mm -hmm. one and a half years. Mm -hmm. I was the family planning nurse actually well, in that yeah. clinic. Actually, the <laughs> so, yes, guys. so men used to come with their wives and mm -hmm. say, mm -hmm. You know, I work in a public hospital, so you can imagine the kind of sorry to say, the kind of uh, whatever audience we get. Yes. So it'd be like, Try kitu, I don't want to. Si taki bi bianga si taki bi Do you know why? Because when you're inserting the IUD, there's mm -hmm. a technique. There are some people when they insert the UD, they don't shorten the strings. Mm -hmm. And then when they shorten them, they leave them uh, rough. Oh, so you're supposed to like... They don't the like moisturize them and panga them oh. nicely. So of course, Can of course. I no, they're two I strings them. only, but um, they're supposed to, there's a way they're supposed to be put. I mean, okay. I cannot demonstrate enough, but there's yeah. a way they're supposed to be put. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's no way if it's well inserted, that man will feel the IUD because the IUD is in the uterus. The man cannot even reach half the uterus. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. I mean, okay, why so will it pass? If it moves, that's when it dungas him. Mostly it moves because of expulsive periods and uh, excessive oh. cramps. Oh. Mostly. But there's no this way a man so will go. There's no way a man will reach the uterus yeah, and move your, so and move your, and move your IUD. Hey, when we, we but the string But the string will. will be, yeah, How they can. To <laughs> no, uh, no. Position, change position. <laughs> <laughs> like, is it and about the positions, I don't think there's any position really, <laughs> unless you, you have, unless you are pregnant and you cannot perform some and position. I also don't think there's a long, long, you know, mm, yeah, there's none. Where I will not speak, but <laughs> not that I have experience, <laughs> but <laughs> uh, ladies are complaining of migraines as well. So, mm -hmm. what can they do to? It, does it mean that when you're on when you're on the contraceptive you have to be constantly hydrated no. and okay yeah you have oh, to yeah, be hydrated be, uh... good diet because mm -hmm. oh. now you are already putting hormones into your body so you have to have good diet exercise okay. take lots of water because okay. as, as i said women are different yeah. yeah you see one thing may react to me and it can't react like to another me. and i also like to put a disclaimer People should not think that there's a good contraceptive and there's a bad contraceptive. contraceptive. Whatever works for you is good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So with migraines, again, mm -hmm. it comes with the progesterone, mostly progesterone only hormone mm -hmm. yeah, contraceptive. Okay. Some get very bad migraines. They have to be off it totally. Yeah. 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 It's one of the side, the side effects. Let me just say it's yeah. one of the side effects. Nausea, some vomit. Some get severe back pain, low yeah. libido, low, low libido. Yeah. yeah, those are one of the side effects. But when you go to get uh, that type of contraceptive, the nurse or the doctor tells you, you may experience this, this. I feel like there has to be a system where you get tested, you know. They do. They test you? They do. They test you. Mostly uh, when you go to, let me just say this, mostly in private hospitals, yeah. they do test your blood. Yeah. Ah. Then they do test your hormone levels. Oh. Okay. Blood pressure. Uh, some do test your sugar levels. Some. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, just to know. Others do test your urine just yeah. to know if there's any infection already. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so that they can choose and a good. So, what I'd like to advise women is before you get a contraceptive, mm -hmm. just go have a, a, a checkup. Yeah. Go to a good place, go to have a, a checkup. So that you don't, you, so some things you can avoid. Yeah. If I do a checkup and find out I cannot use uh, an injection, yeah. I'll just get off it. Instead of using it, then and letting then it. No, you know, there's, this, there's this old, old uh, midwife tale eh. that says you have to use a, a, a method to know if it will react nicely or badly. Honey, I'm not. <laughs> Catch me dead. <laughs> but for me, I say that's my personal opinion. Just mm -hmm. have the checkup done. 
so that you can know because yeah. like uh, what i can say like me i wanted the coil really badly the yeah. nanomono iud but when i went in for my six week checkup the nurse who was uh inserting it yeah. just told me uh, you cannot insert for now yeah. you see at eight weeks you still cannot insert yeah. at 14 weeks you cannot insert i just accepted because yeah. i knew from birth i had a short cervix okay, okay. so i just Ooh. knew okay sour wow yeah. so how many types of contraceptives are locally available in kenya locally we yeah. have almost everything actually okay but there are those which are common okay we have the iud okay. that's hormonal mm -hmm. and hormonal mm -hmm. we have the the iud which is known as, as the coil also the coil another one is known as the yeah, coil copper tea, it copper, tea. Oh, copper tea copper tea copper tea and and hormonal. IUD actually and it's, copper it's, tea. it's 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 latte it's a yeah, tea, it's a tea. Yes. and the yeah. iud is also a tea right the Come IUD, it's ignorant. the same, it's a synonym, IUD oh. coil. Coil, yeah. yeah. Oh. So, yeah. coil, IUD, copper T stands for one It's type. copper T, oh. it's a copper T. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, we have hormonal and hormonal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so most people have encountered, usually mm -hmm. want the coil, no. because, uh, the non-hormonal coil, because uh, maybe they're having issues, blood pressure is high, okay. or someone doesn't want to deal with hormones in yeah, their body. Yeah, 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 Mood yeah. Swings Which in most women, I don't know wh who told most women that the coil is the best method. It's not. Okay. It's just a method. Yeah, it's no. just a method. It's like just a Indiana. method. And the injection? Okay, then we have the three-month injection. It's called Depo-Provera. Pro Provera. Provera, that's the <laughs> medical mm -hmm. name, but okay. people call it Shindana three months, okay. mostly. So uh, after every three months, after every three months, you go, and then it's a uh, progesterone only. It only has one hormone. Ooh, eh? There comes your mood swings. Here <laughs> mood comes swings, trouble. migraine. Here comes the dangers. <laughs> so you have mood swings, headache. Mm. Not every woman. Not Remember, every I'm saying woman. not every no, woman. Not every you woman. don't have to go through this. So someone will be sitting at home like, but I have these things and I don't have these things. Yeah. So what are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. not yeah. everyone. Let's make this yeah. right. Everyone. Everyone, everyone is unique. People, Most yeah. people experience different. Yeah. 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 Oh. Then we have the, whatever you said, you are taking progesterone only pills. Because oh. I tried those. I had spotting every single day Ooh, so i had to get off those pills yeah 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 yeah, mm -hmm. yeah so then, we have, okay. then we have the, mm. another one yeah you yeah. told me about it's yeah. like herbal it's like a sachet you put in water every day and mm. drink sijina jita there's a swahili name hey. mm. Mm, as we never used to offer the herbal in hospitals so when you come to hospital and talk about the herbal we just tell you we don't offer that uh, okay. but there is right I've, I've also had yeah okay. i've also had i've not i'm, I'm not hearing it about how far it there is herbal okay. una mix na maji and you take uh, no, it's not even unique. It's a pill also. But does it but work? Is it the, how medically proven is it? The girl it? told me it works. My friend told okay. me it works. About okay. herbal, I don't know. Uh, well, well, I, I asked say... my doctor after I gave birth a Kanyabia. <laughs> he doesn't recommend then, it. Yeah. So okay. you have the combined or okay. raw contraceptive. Combined means it has two hormones. Okay. So your hormones are bound to balance. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's okay, estrogen that's and it has progesterone. So after breastfeeding, it's not given to breastfeeding mothers because it, uh, you can't, I mean, your milk supply would be very low after it that. Dries the milk up. But okay. really people do take uh, combined. Now combined is what, what other people say. I prefer combined because okay. I mean my hormones balance, I don't have many problems but okay. it's not also the best method. Okay. Mm. So this combined, it's a tablet? It's a tablet. That you take every day? That you take and then at the end it has iron, iron pills which also I mean help your blood. With this blood, blood circulation. Yes. Ah. So it's a pill I pop every day? Every single day at every, I at mean, a particular time. time. And also, if once, it's 9 a.m. it's 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Mm. People should know that the combined uh, oral contraceptive if taken correctly mm. same time every single day it can prevent pregnancy 99 percent if taken correctly correctly if it's 9 a.m 9 a.m 99 percent i'm in school I'm it's in school. really effective humans are forgetful so i know like when i was taking let me the tell you people who take contraceptives <laughs> and they are not who are loyal like that like oh, oh it's 9 a.m no. oh i know we're talking about p2 P2 is Maybe not a, P2 a is not a contraceptive. It's not a contraceptive. No. It is, it's an emergency it's contraceptive. It's an emergency pill. Yes. Yes, it's an emergency contraceptive, but you cannot use it to prevent pregnancy. Actually, it oh. makes you barren after some time. Yeah, my doctor told me. You're only allowed to take is it three pills of P2 in a year? Three times wow. a year. Three times a year. For real. So if you're taking P2 more every than three months. times a year every month, mm -hmm. so that you, 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 you might end up barren. 
if, if it prevents, okay, P2 does one thing or the other. If you keep checking it yeah. and it prevents your pregnancy, Sorry. then you are lucky, okay, but mm -hmm. it will cause other uh, nini it problems. Other side effects. Yeah, because yeah. people will be like, but I take P2 all the time and I've never mm -hmm. gotten pregnant. Mm -hmm. Sour. Mm -hmm. How do you know if you can actually get pregnant? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So actually, that, like, I was told that and I was really shocked. Mm -hmm. You can only take P2 thrice in a year. Yeah, like, yeah, if yeah. you're doing it more than that, and you have to divide, like yeah. not at it today, and tomorrow, tomorrow mm -hmm. show, okay? like every thrice quarter. in 12 every months. Yeah. So that is every quarter every of the quarter, year. Yeah. I think something else that mm -hmm. we need to ask, I forgot to, like how much does an IUD cost? If I came to a hospital. And okay, it depends with which hospital you go to. Um, we offer, it, it's 200 shillings. <laughs> inserting 200? And, yes, inserting the, the IUD. I and cheap. I and I don't know why people thousand. don't embrace going oh. to like public hospitals, public hospitals because trust me we are very very competent nurses yeah more competent I'm not saying that there are no other no I'm hospitals. not saying that we are more competent than private but we have very well trained That's nurses yes, yes, we are taken yes, for yes. courses mm. yeah to add more to the knowledge we have yeah and then like I started working in family planning when I was really young yeah mm. but I caught up and became one of the best <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, so you're dealing with the best. You're the best. So, I'm excited because I'm dealing yeah. with someone who's yeah. very yeah. informed, yeah. someone who's the best in the field. So, guys, hey, this is getting better. <laughs> yeah, so like where I work, let me yeah. just give you the prices. It's 200 shillings. Wow. wow. I thought it was like 5k. No, it's 200 shillings. Then we have other places that offer it. We even have a place that you can pay as high as even 20k to get the nini. Depending where. It's the same thing as making my nails somewhere else. Yeah. And somewhere else. I just want the ambience. The yes, comfortability, the comfortability, convenience, you know. Okay. Yeah. Plus, um, uh, there's a place I got for five thousand. Yeah. What? Mm -hmm. Something that goes yeah. for two hundred. I know. Oh, go for our care. I know. Government, <laughs> so government really, is five thousand. I see. Even for that two hundred, remember? Like remember, mm -hmm. for that two hundred, there's someone who will come and say they can't afford it. Yeah. Remember? But they I still want the that method. Pays for you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The, the change. Yeah. I think people should they also embrace yeah. like going to just walk into a government hospital. Yeah. Specific ones, obviously. Mm -hmm. Like I work in a maternity hospital, mm -hmm. and okay. we have a really nice clinic that offers that services oh. with uh, very nice nurses, very nice. experienced. Because I trained under nice. very experienced. Okay, because I trained under very very experienced nurses, very yeah. experienced yeah. who yeah. worked for over thirty years. Yeah. So of course I was born to get yeah. something good. Yeah, so okay. it's two hundred shillings. Mm -hmm. Other places we have Mary Stops. It offers uh, yeah, good services same. also. Yeah. I cannot talk for private hospitals more. I can mm -hmm. only talk maybe for, for your public. some doctors. I think public hospitals yeah. is good enough. Yeah. yeah, you can get it at your yeah for those who want to get it. Yeah, yeah. So how much do they? Um, estrogen is it? Oh, those are the pills. Yeah, the, the pills, pills. Imagine they go at fifty shillings, okay. hundred shillings a pack. Okay. Uh, that's for thirty days. Yeah? That's for thirty days. Okay. Yes, thirty okay. and twenty-one. Yeah. Here yeah. Belching. They're oh pretty cheap, but I mean, I'm not saying no. that everyone should walk into a public hospital. All I'm saying is. Uh, you, you can, can go anywhere, yeah. but you can go there. Friendly prices. At, you can go there. And get the same service. You and the service gotten. is good. And yeah. the service is good. There's nothing like it because it's a public hospital. Actually, you get a bad service. Eh. People should not have this thing. I'll go, someone will talk to me rudely. Just yeah. come. I'll, I'll. You see, we have yeah. a lovely, <laughs> lovely, lovely night. Nice here. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you and your, yeah. Oh, we talked about it. Yeah. Okay. So there were questions. Somebody asked. Mm -hmm. um, uh, no question, but it will be uh, good to also encourage girls mm -hmm. and women to get on contraceptives. I, I don't know. Uh, how do you feel about encouraging women to get on the contraceptive? Mm. Maybe young women who don't know what they're up to. Yeah. In life. No. Okay, I have a different opinion. Maybe young girls. For, me. for sure, young girls. Mm. I, I hear parents who say that girls yeah. from the age of maybe 14, mm -hmm. you know, to get contraceptives. This young yeah. teenage pregnancies, we yeah. have to avoid them. I do we that do. for my daughter. Okay. But, okay, for me, but eventually, I have reservations because mm -hmm. eh, I'm thinking, mm, you say 18 is the legal age, but yeah. people do get pregnant when they're yes. young. Especially mm -hmm. now during so, COVID, we've had so many... Yeah. 
as kids and yeah, yeah, pregnant. Yeah. yeah. So this the lady has said she, mm. uh, she wants to encourage people to, to get, get on, on the contraceptives. Yeah. I don't think there's anything like I want to encourage you to get on a contraceptive because yeah. it's a personal decision. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. not yeah. something yeah. you'll sit and tell people. So Please, guys. Decision. Mm. It's not. Mm. It's a personal decision about young mm. girls getting. Because I used to get young girls mm. as young as thirteen who come to the clinic. Mm. They want her. Contraceptive, but you know you cannot give a contraceptive and to underage. They have yeah. to come with the parent. The parent has to sign the oh, consent. Guardian. Yeah, yeah. So and I, for a young girl to come and tell you she wants a contraceptive, it means she's very, very, very actively involved in sexual activities. Where at that and you age, know at that tender age, if you are involved in sexual that activities, that tender age, I yeah. yeah. sex till I was like, same. Also I nice. know. <laughs> 13. You see, at 13, if you are actively involved in sexual hey, activities, so it means it means they don't want to advise you, one, because okay. you are hiding it, obviously. Yeah. Two, you might get infections easily. And you check. But, and what you do, but what do schools do? But you see, the but thing is, what people need to understand is contraceptives do not save you from HIV. HIV, AIDS, and any other you sexually see, transmitted So if you're looking for a contraceptive, that means you're having unprotected except, sex. Except, I have a disclaimer, exactly. except yeah. a condom. A condom yeah. is what we call it. Eh? That's the only method of contraception. A condom is what we call it. Eh? It protects two ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It will protect you against uh, sexually transmitted infections yeah. and, and pregnancy. Yeah. If correctly, again, I have to to add if correctly used because imagine the people don't know how to use condoms yeah 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 the people yeah, don't know don't, don't, use don't, use don't have it uh, i mean no. the people just don't know you, you, you don't know there's a female there's a condom i knew about it when do you I know was how to 14. use it <laughs> no i don't know how to use it my sister I used don't. to work for this feminist whatever as um, yeah. ngo company yeah. Yeah. when i was young so there's yeah. a time she came with it it's like this a big circle yeah small true. circle so you have to twist this big circle into an eight and insert it, then you hold it, but it's so hard. And it has to stay for some uh, few hours so that you can warm up to your yeah. body. You just don't put it on. Yes, I'm just to like. Hold on, guys. This is a different conversation. Right? Uh, yeah. We're gonna have yes, a different view yes, about civil yes, conduct yes. and no conduct. Yeah, yeah, we are. And how to use them because yeah. I feel like if we we continue we like join, this, we yeah. are gonna this finish. Gonna be so yeah. Long and yeah. Mm -hmm. But we're going to talk about that, and yeah. I feel like I have the two best people to talk about it because I've yeah. never, I've never used a female condom before, and I, I don't either, even, but I, know about I don't it. even know how it looks. It I've looks, never used. Yeah. I think we'll have to buy one and show. show. Yeah. Yes. Um, does family planning have a long time side effect apart from the daily normal ones? Yes, they do. They do, and it's something you're told when you go and take a method. Eh? Yeah. For some women, again, they do have long uh, side effects: blood clots. You can get a blood oh, clot. That's so risky. Yeah. Marion, just give me a second. Yeah. Gentlemen, please. This is where you need to seriously listen yeah. before having your woman jump on this thing. Yeah. Marion, please. You can continue. get blood clots. Uh, if you use it for so long, there's some methods you get blood clots. I mean, varicose veins. Eh? Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. Your your pressure is constantly high. high Excessive wow. weight gain to a point. I mean, you just become sick. Mm -mm. Oh you become god. sick. They do have long term side effects. Thank you. Yeah. Oh my god, Marion, it was so beautiful having you here. <laughs> Thank um, you. Uh, so another question mm -hmm. on your side. Um, you should. Uh, what is the best approach on avoiding unnecessary body reactions while on contraceptives? I mean, you cannot tell your body what to do. Okay. You cannot tell your body what to do that. Let me take this method, then I'll do something uh, to avoid it. I mean, yeah. you can have a good diet, mm -hmm. yeah. take your water, take mm -hmm. your vitamins if you have any, but you cannot really tell your body how to behave. I remember you said exercise. Exercise. Oh. Exercise does help because generally, you know, if you exercise, Wait. I mean, your weight goes low, you have, but you cannot tell your body that uh -huh. now I'm taking this approach so that my body can react in a certain way. What I'd like to tell women is. Uh, uh -huh. If a method what reacts to badly you? to you, just yeah, get sure. off it. Okay. Get off it. Sure. Don't don't fight it. Yeah. Get off it. Just get off Look it. for another method. If none works for you, just use the natural family planning methods. Mm -hmm. With draw water. Draw water safe days. Safe yes. days. They're also called calendar just days. Download, calendar yeah, days. Yeah. download the apps. Ah, actually, we have, we have forgotten to talk about I, I have a, uh, an app called Easy Baby, and it is free on a Play Store. Mm -hmm. And that's what I use. And yeah. I gave back to my son about two years ago because my son is turning two years. And 
I've not had an oops baby. And guy. what I'd like to say is that uh, for you to use the calendar days, yeah. your periods have to be consistent. Cons Maybe you have to monitor them for apps. six months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use, uh, I use Easy, Easy, Easy Baby. Easy I baby. use Baby Center and uh, baby Flow. Is also very and good. Flow and Flow. I haven't started using awesome any applications. <laughs> we will help oh, you out. I don't any have a contraceptive method. <laughs> okay, so uh -huh. last question. Last question. Okay. Yeah. Here you go, so. <clears throat> Why do some women get frequent yeast infections using oral contraceptives? What I would say about oral contraceptives, yeah. they don't cause yeast infections, but they do predispose someone to a yeast infection. They don't okay. cause, they're not the cause. I feel yeah. like I'm in a class now. Yes. Because, I mean, we are you know when you say something causes something, it means, I mean, you're if you take it, it you're if you take it, it you're, if you you're take it, you're certain it, you'll have a yeast Yeah, you are certain you'll have the yeast infection. It doesn't cause, it predisposes. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't cause. Meaning? That's what she should, Meaning, yeah, mm -hmm. it gives it, it puts you at a higher risk, risk eh, of, of getting that yeast, yeast infection, infection, but doesn't cause the yeast infection. Ah, I see. Yeah, mm -hmm. someone asked, How do they increase their libido mm, by getting off the method? I mean, how else would you increase the your libido yeah, you if you're using natural. that method and it keeps it's working against you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just, just stop natural. using that method or use another method where yeah. one of the side effects is not reduced libido, libido. Yes. yeah, because yeah. there's nothing you'll eat or do. Uh, to tell your body i mean you have to prepare your body yeah but again, yeah but again how long how long do you need to take to get off you know if you get off this certain contraceptive yeah. how yeah. long do you need to jump right into, into another, another one another method like another, method. another yeah. method yeah actually you can get another method the same day you get off another one. Oh, nice the same time nice. i mean if you want to mm. prevent a pregnancy mm. yeah because like right now if i want to change to a certain method when this injection i have expires i'll yeah. get this the, the other method the same day yes 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 but wow. if i want to get pregnant of course mm. i'll not jump into another method yeah yeah Okay. Oh my god, this was so much. Like, it's so much information, guys. I hope we answered your questions mm -hmm. and I hope we've addressed this matter. But if you have mm -hmm. any more questions, please do leave them down at our comment section yeah. and we will be happy, happy, happy to answer these questions. Oh my god, Suki, it was amazing having you here. Marion, it thank was you for lovely, having me. Lovely, yeah. lovely, thank lovely, you for lovely having, having me. You. And of course, we're going to have both of you here again yeah. Yeah. so um, i don't know if you guys have any button shot for this guys please take take the sports hmm what can uh, i say this was so lovely i really <laughs> learned a lot as well and uh, guys cool. subscribe subscribe what i can say is that people should stop having uh, all these opinions about contraceptives mm -hmm. one that is one mm -hmm. because uh every woman's body is different yeah. and every woman deserves a chance to choose whatever they want yeah. two men should get involved in this con in this contraceptive yeah. story mm -hmm. because at Please. the end of the day you see people say it's the woman who carries the pregnancy but I mean, doesn't have to be. I mean, I don't have to die. Yeah, because it doesn't have to be one I don't want another baby. Tell, yeah, yeah. So I don't men, have to have bad moods. At least, a, 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 yeah, yeah. At least, as a man, uh, take your wife or girlfriend to go. I mean, get the contraceptive. If you've decided it's her yeah. getting the contraceptive, or you might just pull well. out yes. or use pull a, or, or out. use a condom if or use a condom. I feel if you fancy using. For me, I feel like <laughs> yeah, this conversation was very necessary mm -hmm. and more so for the gentlemen yeah there is no death in pulling out <laughs> like I couldn't i'd for... like to hear the men uh, give the opinion yeah, yeah. gentlemen please no, we give can us... do a part two probably yeah we yeah. can do a part yeah. two of this where yeah. men will i think we'll engage men in all our socials yeah. Yeah. when we are coming okay, here we can include them okay hey, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah we can yeah. get them sit here yes. and we can oh that's a beautiful idea yeah. i love that yeah yeah so that we can be part of this conversation and just educate ourselves more yeah. on this matter yeah. and guys there's no point of losing your wife to a heart disease and blood clots and Imagine. other yeah. weight issues because you want to come in you want to nut inside her you guys <laughs> guys it was um, lovely having you yeah. until next time keep it here subscribe keep it, subscribe <laughs>